Okay. Watch yourself, Danny. What'd you get? Never mind, I don't care. Bicho, our future is now. You are a genius. Let's do this! Priorities way! Attacking our values, tearing down everything that makes us great. I I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling it. Danny! You hear that? Music! Go, Danny! my friend. Joe, you 
Come mierda. Where'd you go? Danny? There's a really big dog here. Is that a cow? Where did you find a cow? He's really nice. He gives lots of kisses. Stay where you are. I'll come find you. <laughs> stop, stop it! Bad dog! <laughs> ¿Qué coño es eso? I'm gonna grab a right. I love you, doggy. Oh, shit. You shit. That? What the fuck? You get that. Hey, how do you become a guerrilla? Huh? Yeah. Like, uh, for Libertad. Does Clara give you a test? Yeah, be sure. She makes you get up at like four in the morning and do push-ups. What? Yeah, a thousand. If you stop, her buddy Juan shaves your ass and spanks you. And if you puke, they make you do math. Me lleva la chingada fucking math? No way. No way, way. You're full of shit. You're lying. <laughs> Since when did you want to be a guerrilla? Never mind. Forget it. Danny! <laughs> Kate? I, I can't look at our old graffiti. Now it's messed up. That's what you get. Just like me. Okay. That's every single one. Really? How many did you do? Like, at least a hundred. Nice! Drink? Danny, I need to hear their voices. I need Maximus Matanzas right now! I need everyone in this whole town to hear them! Then, bicho, my little chalupa, I think it's time for some real guerrilla shit. Follow me. Broadcast that shit, bicho. Let's make Saguna fucking dance. <laughs> For libertad. I'm going to remodel Maria's office. <laughs> Hang on. There's a password. Oy, pinga. Um, one. Could you 
keep it the fuck down. I am trying to concentrate. Yes. Listen to that. Gloria. Talia. Palo. I miss you. We. We should go. I think I'm done with this stuff. Then. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it is. What is it? You. I mean you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. That is not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this, and that's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends, just like you. Lito used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza School for the Lost. Then, Cadet 2683. And after that, Trafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. And nobody. But I was listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. Not a number. Not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla. It's like you. I use this. And you. You use that, huh? <sighs> but I could be a cool fucking gun too. Oh yeah, Paolo's busy again, isn't he? He sent you to hug me? Danny, how are you holding up? Let's see. Paolo's gone. Bicho's a crying mess. Where? Dahlia's just You're fucking not. chaos. I think it's time to face reality, Danny. Maximus Matanzas is too far gone. I'm going to head back to camp. Talk to Dahlia. Don't give up on them, Clara. You're called Danny. I'm a grenade ready to go. We hit Maria's rum factory, we fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. Dali and Paolo got a real love. I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? 
press passes. I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside, so free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. Report to Benavides. Press passes? Oh, this is my shot, Danny. Got a shit hot song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Italia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Vicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot and don't go in without us.
All right, this place is cleared. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from... Urban Garden? Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvio Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro, a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. 
And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, the volunteer. Yes. Yeah. The fertilizer is working on the plants as we this is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. <clears throat> In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. I didn't think this could happen. I hear even more now than before. Stay with the group, por favor. And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone, enjoy the showroom and some of our finest yar and rom. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say it, sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. And neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. What now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. Hey, 
after you simply did a fair shake from the international community. We have a rigorous selection process to determine which countries receive Viviro, and we intend to stick to the rules. It is estimated there are 18 million new cases of cancer each year. How will you produce enough Viviro to combat this? Viviro is a young innovation, a new discovery. We are refining a drug to be strong. We should run! No! Find our Vesta! Daria! I gotta speak my mind! Okay, Who's okay. shooting out there? <laughs> Someone go deal with the terroristas! Wait, almost at the wheel run! What the hell is going on? Special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Daria, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. Where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Fuck. Oh. Oye, okay, let's go, let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Danny, oh, so Maria's dead. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. You're the real dear Rojas. I knew Talia would get Maria eventually. She's had her sights on her for a while now. You're not having a heart attack. How, how do you know? We need Paolo. Paolo knows how to fix this. Paolo's in Miami by now. No, no, no. He's still here. Danny, go find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay. Just take a breath. I'm on my way. <laughs> 